Crafty friends, this is Lynn, the Gift Diva. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday to you all. Hope you're doing well. Well, guys, we are in August. Can you believe that? That is certifiably nuts. That we are in the August edition of the Anna Griffin Spellbinders um, Heartfelt Collab by Hosted by Poet Spice. Um, we come on every month uh, on this Friday. I think it's just the second Friday. Third Friday, second Friday. I'm never quite right here, am I? <laughs> uh, to bring you crafty inspiration from Anna Griffin, Spellbinders, Diamond Press, Heartfelt Creations. Um, we pick stuff in our stash from those companies and we create. And hopefully you'll be inspired to pull something out of your stash and give it a go. All of the ladies who participate in this collab are awesome and they are listed in my description box below. Please be sure to go check them out after you leave me and give them some crafty love. But don't forget, before you leave me, to give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, and leave me a comment. You guys know I love your comments. I love responding to your comments. So tell me what you think down below. Now, this month is a month of chaos. So <laughs> my projects are basically random acts of experimentation. And... I um, had some new Anna Griffin stuff and new Diamond Press stuff that I had not tried out yet and I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see what it was like and so I made, I only made four cards today, but I used some things that I did not, uh, haven't had a chance to use yet. So that made me very, very happy. One of those things is this Anna Griffin Simply Birthday Card Making Kit and it's basically, um... It, it includes card layers, cards, layers, sentiments, embellishments, and a ribbon. And ribbon, to me, is a misnomer because when I think of ribbon, I think of her pre-made cute little bows that I don't have to think about tying. No, no siree. She gave you straight ribbon. I can't try it. I This is why I own a bow maker because I cannot tie a ribbon to save my life. So, not sure what I'm going to do with that ribbon, but it makes 12 cards. So, I, um, and it comes with her, um, now infamous idea sheet. So, I use the idea sheet on these two cards to make my cards and to have a little play. So, that's what I did. So, let me, and it's like, I got it because I, it's mostly like cart noir papers, which I absolutely adore. I adore that collection. And, um, see, just ribbon. I don't know. Oh, well, I did something in, with, in one of the cards with it, so. And then you get all these beautiful embellishments. You get her little pop dots. You get matching envelopes. And then you get these card layers, which are really pretty, that you can pop up. And, of course, you know, you can incorporate your own Anna Griffin dies with this card. Uh, card kit or your or whatever dies you may have lurking around your stash to enhance your cards. I just used the straight box. I wanted to see what the cards would look like if I just used the box. So that's what I get. No more yammering. Let me show you what I made. Okay, so here's my first card. They turned out really pretty. I love the shape of this box. I'm sure this is a die that I probably don't have. But, um, I mean, of this card, not this box. But every card is shaped like that, which is really pretty. I used um, some of her bows that were already in my stash with your love, with love for your birthday. And I created, I used the ribbon in the background. I created a little scene here um, on from one of the inspirational cards. And there's my little sticker on the back. These are huge. I miscalculated on my Cricut how big they were. And so I'm using them up on the back of these. Um, instead of writing my handmade by, um, I will just use these big my Gemma stickers. And they're pre-printed on the inside. A special wish for a beautiful day and a year that's perfect in every way. Thought that was super pretty. I may go back in and add some of her rub-ons. That would be super pretty. So that is card one. Here's card two. Isn't that pretty? So I layered up a, a bunch of the roses that come in the kit and the little gold flourish. 
added the happy birthday. These little things I, I hauled the other week from Timu. And these are bows that I've had in my stash forever from AliExpress. And I just layered it all up, made it pretty. On the inside it says, here's to you. May all your birthday wishes come true. And then there's my little signature on the back. So those are the two Anna Griffin cards. So then, and then... I wanted to see the star of the show is this new Diamond Press Holiday Sentiments. Big, large sentiment auto ship that I got from HSN on the J July craft day. I love Diamond Press Sentiments. I'll buy them all day. I love these big ones because you can use you can use them on the cup front of a card, on the front of a bag, which is what I mostly use them for because they're just, they're, they're beautiful usually and they cut like butter on the if you use your diamond if you use your diamond press uh, machine what is that called marquee yes maybe um so this one has we wish you a merry christmas sweet holiday wishes sending holiday cheer christmas cheer have a holly jolly christmas season's greetings be merry merriest wishes to you and happy holidays and so I hauled these, so, but in case you didn't see them, they're very generous size. Look how big those are. They are like four inches across. I mean, three and four inches across. So those are like really good size sentiments. So I wanted to see how they cut. I wanted to see how they looked. And I wanted to try out this other new thing that I have and hadn't used yet, which is the We Are Mimic Keeper Sticky Folio. I wanted to see, with the I wanted to layer these, cut these out multiple times and layer them up. See how the Sticky Folio works. Now, let me just say the Sticky Folio is still on on uh, probation for me. Like the jury's still out because um, while it's sticky, I don't know that it's sticky enough. And so I had a sheet in here that I'd already used. And so maybe that was it. Maybe I didn't close it all the way or something. But I ended up, this 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 whole purchase might be a little bit of a bust because I ended up adding adhesive to some of the things, which to me is a little defeat of defeatist of the purpose of the purpose, right? So but I like I like the convenience of this. Um I know Sizzix has some sticky specks or sticky sheets or something and I'm thinking I may get those and try try those with these in here and do the little rubby thing I don't know we'll see I'm, I'm maybe it's good for like big things you know like I don't know we'll see I'm gonna keep playing with it because I did buy refill sheets so I'm not gonna waste it uh, I'm gonna use it so I use that in this project this is another kind of remorseful buy, but it's the Anna Griffin Shimmer Red and Green Cards and Envelopes. There are 36 cards and envelopes. It's not that it's a remorseful buy. It's just one of those buys where it, I, I, I look back on it and think, Lynn, you just could have bought packs of Shimmer cardstock and cut it down into the card base you wanted instead of paying what Anna was asking for this, these pre-made jams. But again, I've already used some of them, so it is done already. But the, co the, the colors are beautiful, I will say. They are beautiful. And it, I don't know if you can see the pretty shimmer. But it's super pretty. And you do get matching envelopes. If I had to do it over again, I probably would have left them at HSN. But I have them now, so I plan to do pretty, pretty things with them. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might do something besides cards. I may try. I've saved a couple of card-based mini album tutorials and I might try that we'll see but I did use these in my next card I also used card making magic uh, 5x7 torn edge nestables by Christina Griffiths I love these these are really pretty and I used in my for my stash the primary foil cardstock pack from paper studio I don't even know if they still carry this I don't, 2020. That's not that old. Um, but yeah, I pulled that out and used that. And finally, I used, look at me, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. 
I actually cut into the 49th and Market Christmas Spectacular set that I purchased and hauled a couple of weeks ago. I used some of the rub-ons. I used the paper. Um, I used some of the ephemera. So I'm going to show you what I did. I love the rub-ons. I don't know how I feel about rub-ons, and I love these. These are so pretty. Um, so let me show you what I made. You know, I take a rub-on all day. Uh, what did I do with my cards? Oh, here they are. <laughs> so, the envelope. See how pretty that shimmer envelope is? I put Christmas wishes on the envelope. That's a rub-on from the, from the um, collection. Very pretty. And then you open it up and... I mean, the shimmer is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I just probably could have made these uh, for cheaper. I'm just saying. I'm keeping it all the way real. So here's the first card. And I kept them simple because I was just, you know, trying things out. So I layered up that torn edge um, dye in two different colors. And actually, y'all, <laughs> this says it's red. Uh, but I feel like it's more of a going toward the pink family. But anyway, you can't really tell. Well, you can tell close up because uh, these two reds are definitely different. But it's still made for a cute little card. These were in my stash. These little jimmies. And see, I um, plopped this up about four times. And I used the sticky mat to stick my stuff down. But I ended up having to go back, come back later, and add in some, like, glue glue. This is another interesting... I wonder if I should have bought it purchase. This is the Diamond Press uh, Premium Art and Craft Glue. I'm not sure that I like it. I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest. It's a very wet glue. I mean, it gives you tons of time to position your items, but it takes forever, in my opinion, to dry. And, um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel as adhesive as, say, my Art Glitter Glue or, um, you know, some of the other glues that I use. So, I don't know. Jury's still out on that, too. But, um, Mary's Wishes to You, that's one of the... the sentiments in the diamond press set these are ephemera pieces from the 49th, 49th and market set you open it up i used a piece of the paper from 49th and market and just a regular piece of paper from my stash to for the sentiment and then one of the rub-ons isn't that pretty i think that turned out so pretty so then the second card i used the green envelope and i used holly jolly across there um at the bottom of the envelope very pretty shimmer paper. I don't, I mean, beautiful. The back. Here's the front. And I left this back empty because I wanted the shimmer paper to, to be the star. So I didn't wrap, cover that with pattern paper. I made this one first and then realized, you know, you, the whole point of the card, it's a shimmer. So I wanted to at least leave the back um, undone. And then this one, pretty, turned out pretty to be my first one. And then I, again, I layered up the Merry Christmas. I added some of the ephemera pieces, some little blings from my stash. Then on the inside, I added the some more of the paper. And I added one of Anna Griffin's little creepy snowmen. You know, I got to use them. <laughs> but they creep me out a little. Um, and then um, in the background of that, I used one of the rub-ons. So I think that turned out really cute. So, these are my cards for this month for the uh, Anna Griffin D Diamond Press Heartfelt Creations Spellbinders collab. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please, if you're new to the channel, please consider joining my crafty community. We really, 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 really like you to join our community. We love having new people and sharing the joy of crafting with them. And if you're already a subscriber, you know how much I love you. Uh, please don't forget to go along to my other crafty creators and check out what they've made for you this month because I'm sure whatever it is, it's fabulous. And I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Oh, and wish me luck in the comments for my card class tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.